What's going on everybody, my name is CD and today we are on the second Marksman Rifle Golds. We have the MK2 Carbine and this gun, honestly, probably one of my favorite guns that I've gotten gold. Something about it, something about like the, the lever action. Um, I did play it in hardcore, similar to a lot of the other gold guns that I've gotten. I think you could probably get this gun gold in core as well. Um, you may need a little bit uh, different attachments than what I have on the weapon. But I do think it's possible. It is a single shot weapon. So hopefully that's a one hit kill in core as well. But I did do it uh, in hardcore. So let's jump right into the attachments. So we're actually going to skip this muzzle. We'll come back to it. Um, so the optic that I have on here is the solo zero optic. So usually I've run uh, the GI mini reflex for just about everything. But for some reason, I was not feeling it with this gun. So first I started out with the very first reticle, uh, the Corona and whatever, this mini reflex, that felt pretty good. And then I went to the Solo Zero, stuck with that for basically the whole weapon. For some reason, the GI mini reflex felt a little off. It didn't feel like it was very precise with this gun. I don't know why. Um, maybe that was just personal preference. All the other attachments are really just about the speed. So the ADS speed, since we are doing hardcore, we don't need to add more damage to the gun. Um, so the stock here is the FSS MK2 Sport Comb. Um, and the pros for that are just ADS speed. Uh, perk, we have sleight of hand on here. I found that that came in very handy with this gun. And then the rear grip, we have the stippled grip tape, which is the ADS and sprint to fire speed. So now coming back to the muzzle. So as you can see, I only have four attachments on the gun without this muzzle. The only laser attachment is the one visible to enemies, which I'm not a fan of. And then the only barrels, they're all basically the same thing. They're all damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. So not super necessary when we're in hardcore but as i was saying if you're trying to get it gold in core um it looks like you'd probably throw on this third one um just to get the most bang for your buck we need a fifth attachment so what i threw on here is the lightweight suppressor um, because it doesn't affect any sort of speed whatsoever it just affects the damage range but you're still not going to be getting any hit markers in hardcore um, everything else has some sort of um con on it that could actually hurt us in a gunfight where this one more than likely it's not going to affect us much it just silences the gun a little bit and gets us that fifth attachment for that camo using all attachments and for the class nothing different than the usual uh secondary doesn't really matter we have perks eod ghost battle hardened thermite and a stun grenade now this one i would not tell you to go do this on shipment i would tell you to do this on shoot house or a another smaller map um, if you are going to try and get this thing gold shoot house just a little too hectic and you have to hit that first shot um, or else you're you're dead and on a map like that you're gonna die way too many times so i would say shoot house probably the best bang for your buck but that is it for the m2k carbine again like i said probably the most fun i had getting a gun gold just something about it something about like getting one kill after another after another after like the reload hitting all those shots i don't know it's just a very satisfying feeling if you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys have been enjoying the road to damascus hit that like button down below so if you guys have not already we'll see you guys later